Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me on my little podcast slash video cast on how to write workout programs. And before you, I have our workout program spectrum, and you can see some of the details between what's a beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert program. It goes into the length of warm-ups, how technical the skills are, how technical the exercises, how many compound exercises, so on and so forth. And the same amount, the same document also shows the different um, functions of the program, whether or not it you know, burns more body fat or increases muscle mass. And then below that, I have some different examples of different programming styles. You can see all this, this document on our workout plans page, which is right up here, workout plans. And if you scroll down, you can see it right here. So when we're creating a new workout program, we're thinking about the sample client. We want to do that. And in this case, we're going to go through creating a new program for clients getting into fitness and needing to build a base of strength. And one of the best types of programs for that is functional strength training. You can see that it has, it's more biased towards increasing muscle, but sometimes to improve fitness, lack of muscle strength can lead to injury. And we want to prioritize uh, some strength so that we can then burn more body fat as we get a little bit stronger. So that's the idea. We're going to go with the functional strength training program. And looking here, since it's a beginner program, we're going to want longer warm-ups, less technical exercises, so on and so forth. So let's go through the sample program I wrote and explain why it's going to look the way that it does. And the new program we're going to create is called All for Fit. It's a beginner level programming and it's on functional strength training. And we can see here a workout is 920. It's called Low Rider. And what I did was I put in uh, where it says functional strength training right here and total body. So this is the kind of program it is. And these are the kind of movements we have. And if you look through it, well, bench press, that's our pressing function. Uh, exercise tubing squat hold. So that's a compound movement. It's a pull and a squat, and it's a very easy squat because we're just holding the bottom so it's low complexity, and we're pulling with exercise tubing, which is low complexity. Barbell bench press is more like a medium complexity workout. We want to keep our total workout complexity on the low side because it's for beginners. So we're going to do this low squat hold with a row at light weight, and then we're going to do kettlebell swing. So kettlebell swing is probably an intermediate to advanced exercise. So we have a medium we have a beginner and we have an advanced exercise. And then the pro we do this for six rounds, 45 seconds, and then 20 swings. So neither of these movements are particularly challenging when you're in good condition, when you're starting, they could be very hard. So we have a lo low number of swings here and only a 45 second hold. Should be sufficiently challenging for new clients, but a little bit easy for more advanced people. And that's where we want it because the beginner level program. And then we have a kind of a finishing body weight complex of inchworms and side kicks. Side kicks is an animal flow movement. Basically, you stick one hand down and you push your leg out the side. It does have some complexity. Most people can do it with a little bit of training. Inchworms are similar, similar gymnastics movement. Not very hard to do, just requires a little bit of training. They're both body weight and they scale very quickly. We can use this workout to find how quickly somebody can finish this from an overall conditioning. So we have some conditioning here in a functional pattern using chest and shoulders. Also has some core uh, flexion by holding the inchworm pattern as well as some extension in your back here for maintaining the squat position. The swing of course is our hinge pattern and inchworms are core and shoulders. Sidekicks are kind of resist twist function. So maybe we'll even add resist twist to here as one of the things that the program does. Another important part of beginner workouts is making sure you have very clear warm-ups and cool-downs. These should always be customized to the client, but you want to have a plan going in and make adaptions when you see that they're required. So we have arm circles. Uh, we have three rounds of warm-ups, arm circles with cross ball squeezes where we're going to grab a cross ball and just push it really close in our chest to create the activation of the pec major. And drummer cast is a club bell movement. It works triceps and crunches with a club just as a weighted crunch to work abs. Bench press uses shoulders, pec major, 
drummer cast triceps, and crunches, and it uses core. I chose these movements because bench press is a hard movement to do. It warms up all the complexes for this. We may need additional mobility before we do the squat, depending on the person. However, their core should be warmed up by the time they get there. Same thing for the swing. We may need to warm up the glutes. That's going to be person dependent. And then we have our cool downs. Chandrasana from the Bikram series is a side, uh, side bending. Uh, yoga asana, it features uh, really challenging side body stretches in the frontal plane. It is excellent for stretching the serratus, the latissimus dorsi, as well as the obliques, which are going to be used a lot in the swings. Pretty much all of these movements are going to use some, some pulling function, especially the swing and the squat tube and the squ exercise tubing row. So that's why I wanted to stretch out the sides so they don't get too sore. Uh, exercise tubing behind the back reach for 45 seconds. The exercise band, the exercise band behind the back reach basically does uh, like a pass through, but we're going to use an exercise band to do that. And we're just going to reach behind um, as far as we can with our arms and shoulders and eventually scraping the sides, opening the chest and strengthening the muscles behind our triceps. Battlestar tricep smash is, is basically like rolling on our tricep. It helps loosen up the muscles that got used a lot in the inchworms, the side kicks, as well as the bench press. And exercise band tricep stretch is an assisted stretch of the tricep. Basically, you step on a band and you pull your tricep down. Opens up all the muscles. It's like a more challenging variation of that classic stretch. And we'll do that twice. Um, you have your probably should put in some reps here. So tricep smash is probably 30 rolls with um, kind of switching bias of the arm or we'll say rotation of the arm. And this is probably 30 seconds per arm. We do them all and then we're going to repeat it uh, once we finish the, the sequence. So you do it this total eight times or two rounds of four. And that is a basic structure for how to create a functional strength training workout for new clients. Um, you'd want us more workouts, of course, than one. One is never enough, anywhere from four to eight. And on the next workout, I would change the priority of these workouts, make sure I hit some other patterns that weren't used a lot, such as core extension wasn't really used a lot and lunge wasn't used a lot. So I'd want to maybe start the next workout with those patterns that weren't used and continue to build from there. Thanks for joining us. Hope this was helpful. Bye.